as you may remember, if you have been listening to the Knicks Film School podcast for a while, uh, Yash and Bernard came on the show after every episode of the Last Dance to talk a little, a little basketball from back in the, back in the day. Um, because we, this is, we find ourselves having conversations about nineties basketball more often than you'd think. Um, and so who better to, uh, draft an all decade team, um, with me, uh, than them. Now that said one more time, just because I want to win, uh, we have to recap the rules. Andrew, do you want to give the rules? You love giving the rules for this exercise. Cause I don't think they're that hard to comprehend. We're not drafting teams that would play against each other. We do this at the beginning of every season, look at teams on paper and say that team's better than that team. So what you're trying to do is draft the best possible team. Now the team has to make sense for its era. For example, you would have drafted a smaller team, a team that can space the floor in the 2010s, you'd have drafted a bigger team, maybe one that uh, didn't shoot a lot of threes, but had a big low post game and you, your centers really mattered and power forwards really mattered in the 20, in the 2000s. And so based off of the 90s, you're trying to bet to draft the best possible team that would succeed based off of their performance in the 90s. And I will just add uh, my usual caveat, which is that you're only considering the 10 years from uh, January 1st of 1990 until um, December 31st, 1999, which means uh, even though players like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson uh, played in the 90s, technically, um, you're only getting whatever it is, a couple of years of production out of them. So they, they may not be the best picks for this draft. Um, Andrew, I believe you have some cards in your hand. I do. And just to add one last thing onto that. So you're getting Isaiah's second title and you're not getting the Lakers title in 2000 because that's in the next draft. So that's yes. we, I drafted Shaq knowing I get 2000 through 2002 Shaq in the 20 in the 2000s. OK, yes. Ready to do the draft order, guys. Who I love I, that Yash wore a suit for this, by the way. <laughs> Who am I picking for first? Old, oldest, so that would okay, be me. That would be you. Okay, John, are you ready? Your card sure. is a... The Joker. A four. Okay. Fuck you. So, John... <laughs> Thanks. Hi, John. Wow. Enjoy Carl Malone, loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about... You know, I was going to save my... It, this is going to be really, as we wait for Bernard's card, this is going to be a really tough draft for Yash because he has so much personal uh, connection and love on an off the court level for several players in this draft who he would have loved perhaps to represent in his capacity as a, oh, um, what do they call you? Public defender? Um, yeah, All in right. any case. Oz, uh, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Your card is a Jack. Sweet, Joe, Jack. Okay. Nice. okay. All right. Yeah. I hate ready? you. You know what? I, I also threw a suggestion out there. It's too late now, but I threw one at John that this draft really is unfair because the number one pick is already known. We should have done a like no Michael Jordan draft because then that would have made it more I, interesting. I the number one pick's obvious. This is the most obvious number one pick of all time. The only op, the only all right. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a hot take in in a few minutes. I'm not. I'm not going to argue that someone else should be the number one pick. I just okay. Have, I have oh, some words to to say about it. Yeah, you just gave. You look at Yacha's face right now. Like what the <laughs> take? <laughs> <You're lying. laughs> okay, you ready? Yash, your card. Can we get you? Can we get you a first pick? We can. Oh, oh, God. Yash oh, gets okay. the ace. Yes. yes! Fuck go. all of you, Michael Jordan. So Do can we I need the rest of the draft? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you, Michael Jordan. <laughs> and the rest of the I hit, look. I here's all I want to say is there were look. We adore the '90s and Michael, Michael Jordan. Obviously, without question, Michael Jordan is the first pick. He could have played probably five years uh, and he'd be the first first pick. But it, it is. It's just. It's interesting to note um, that Jordan is. is you're, you're essentially picking someone who played two thirds, a little bit more than two thirds of the applicable time period that we are considering. Cause he obviously sat out an entire season. He sat out all but 17 games of another season did not play at all in the 98, 99 season, obviously didn't play in the first half of the 99, 2000 season. Look, it's I'm just, look, I just, it, I, 
There is you just said an is argument. The there is of- an argument. Josh, your first pick is. <laughs> I think he's. I think he said it. Okay. Because it's Michael fucking Jordan. Okay. Okay. And who got the jack? Oz is the next pick. Oz, I am. Oz, yeah. I am the next pick, and I'm going okay. to take the the nineteen. 19- wait, wait. Nine- we- Hold on, we have to we have to banter about each pick. So Michael Jordan won six NBA. Ch- no, I'm playing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say we have multiple podcasts tonight. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to take the 1990s leader in value over replacement player. Oh, he here was, we go. Nerd he, corners on the pod. He, he wow. was also second in win shares, but unlike the leader in win shares, he was not a pedophile. Uh, David Robinson is going to be the number two pick in this draft. And we're off and running. Okay. Wow. Macri shocked. So I, I am shocked and I'm really happy because I did not want to be left with said, <laughs> said individual. Oh, God. Uh, I, this is, this is going to get really interesting <laughs> real quick. So um, to me, the obvious, the, the semi obvious second pick, which I'm going to be taking with, the, my first pick is Hakeem Olajuwon. Um, obviously, won two titles, um, won an MVP, um, and I I had some trepidation before I actually went and looked back at the stats because uh, you know we 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 uh, glorify these these guys because you know our childhood memories are composed of them, but a lot of them fell off bef- like before the nineties were were kind of over, and Hakeem did did start to fall off. Um, that said, over the course of the decade. Um, did make all NBA eight out of a, a possible 10 times, three firsts, two seconds, uh, three thirds, um, happily taking Hakeem with the first pick here. And with the next pick, uh, I'll be honest. When I very when I first thought about this, doing this draft with you guys, I was like, okay, obviously Jordan's the first pick. I was like, who's the first name that pops into my head? And it was Hakeem, but it was close. And the other guy, is the guy I'm going to take now, and I didn't think I'd be taking him, but I'm going to take him. And that's Scottie Pippen. Ah, I hate because, you because Scotty, because Scotty Pippen, you know, like if you if is there an argument that he's the second best player of the decade over Hakeem? It's not a very good argument, but like we don't know because he never had his own team. The one time he had his own team, he shot the bed, he threw a, a, a hissy fit. So perhaps that's not the best example, but. um he was a he was a pretty damn good player in his time. Doesn't come with uh, any um, of the same some some issues, some playoff performance issues, as it were. Because the, the man did win um, six championships um, and put up some some pretty good numbers in those in those years. So I also Pippen. wouldn't belittle his one year he was on his own. Yeah, you could say he shot the bed, but like it's a Hubert Davis foul call away from potentially getting to the conference finals again and yeah. finished third in MVP that year. Yes, he did fifty five games. About Michael Jordan, this is a, absolutely a defensible pick. Yeah, um, Look, you you just took a guy who admitted to quitting on his team in the playoffs during the last dance. Um, oof, that is a, one game sample size. It's a rough way to build out here. You may have cost yourself <laughs> an entire title just based on that. Ouch! So I, by my count, John's up to eight titles. <laughs> <laughs> I am up to eight titles. Thank you. Um, so wait, now, now, now we, now it gets interesting because I mean, he's well, right there for you, Bernard. Well, leaving aside that uh, David Robinson has fifty more win shares and twenty more VORP than oh, Hakeem Olajuwon. Here we go, nerd here shit, baby. Go. Uh, fuck it, we're just we're gonna do what the sabermetrics tell me to do and uh, run away all fourteen-year-old girls that attend games. At okay, my guys. Arena. <laughs> We get it. Carl Malone has a very checkered past. We Carl Malone is my number two pick. Oh, was- I'm so glad you took the pedophile so I didn't have to. <laughs> I knew you were going to take him. I knew it was all bluffery how you've been saying you wouldn't take him, especially now that you have the reach around pick. Here's here's the thing about the, here's the thing about the Malone pick. Um, it's so obvious. It's it's painful. And it's not even like you could pick apart that much because the man went, the man won two MVPs. The man went to two finals. Um, like he had playoff success over the years. Uh, and we've been doing this. This is the third one of these things. He's the first player to make all NBA first team every year of the decade that we're talking about. So there like no one else could say that. I know that. The, I look, it doesn't mean a hell of beans to some people, but to others, it, it means something. That's and all. And to, to, 
Oz's point, number one in win shares by a lot, 146 win shares. Um, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. There's there's not much more to say. Carl Malone, the number five pick, right. Ar- arguably could have been one if we didn't have consciousness. Apparently, Oz, uh, Yash, you have two picks. Beautiful. Okay, so just for uh, Oz taking. Taking no, Carl Malone. Don't you me. dare. I, He's going to do it. Break his heart. You motherfucker. I am going to take John Stockton. Enjoy your COVID, you asshole. And, and Charles Barkley. Oh, okay. 